One of the basic basic requirements of health assessment is to be able to use a stethoscope. But before we are able to use it, there are some facts, some information that you need to have so you can accurately use it and actually collect accurate data. So here I have in my hand a very basic type of stethoscope and it has the two earpieces, the metal tubings, all of this is known as a headset and that leads to this uh, plastic tubing that goes on to this aspect which contains the diaphragm, the broader section, the bell, the smaller section. The diaphragm takes in uh, those sounds you would get like your bowel sounds. The, the bell takes in those other harder to detect sounds such as the S3 sounds when you're doing a cardiac assessment, the murmurs, uh, the bruit, right? Sounds like those are more easily detected by the bell. All right, so here we have our basic stethoscope and you need to know how to use it. First thing, you have to ensure that it's properly assembled. Most times when you purchase them, they are not yet assembled. You need to ensure that the ear pieces turn inwards, or well, more so, yes, to inwards toward your ear. Your ear travels kind of slant and goes towards your nose, right? So you need to channel the tips towards the inner aspect of your ear just like and you put it in your ears just like that right so they are turned in this manner then you fit them in your ears right and you are now ready to test you have to test the equipment before using it and so there is this section here that you can turn in order to turn on the diaphragm or to turn on the bell the only way you'll know that the diaphragm is on is to do your testing so when you have turned this area and you tap you will listen for the loudest tap. When you have the loudest tap, you know that the diaphragm is on. Do the same for the bell and tap. All right, so here I have my loudest tap. But once you know that your diaphragm is on, an easy way to know if your bell is on is to check the diaphragm. If that's the loudest sound, you know automatically once you turn it like this, then it is turned to the bell. And that's basically how you use your stethoscope before and after using it, it's very advised that you use alcohol. 70% uh, alcohol is quite fine for you to use to clean your equipment, clean the earpieces, clean the entire tubings, and also to clean both the diaphragm and the bell. All right, and you discard, wash your hands, you're ready to use your stethoscope. If the stethoscope is feeling cold, and that would make it uncomfortable for the client who you put the stethoscope on, then you can just simply keep it in the palm of your hand for a little while and let it warm up and then you are ready to go. All right, thank you.